we all know it. The tomatoes that we grow at home mm, just taste better than the tomatoes that we get at the store. But did you know science proves it? Join me today as I discuss the science, the psychology, and other factors in determining why the tomatoes we grow at home taste better. Hi, I'm Gardner Scott, and these are my black cherry tomatoes, a variety I've come to love. Fabulous flavor, and I get dozens and dozens and dozens from a single plant. I like them so much that I don't even think about buying tomatoes at the supermarket. What I find in the produce section does not compare at all with this fresh tomato. Mm. And so why do supermarket tomatoes not taste as good as what we grow in our garden? Well, in an article from The Guardian, a team of international scientists give us the answer. They identified 13 volatile compounds that give us the traditional tomato taste. And they compared the traditional tomatoes, what we might think of as heirlooms, with modern varieties, which are often hybrids, and that's what we're eating in our supermarket. And they found, when comparing through chemical and biochemical analysis of the sugars and the acids and the volatile compounds, that those 13 compounds are not present in what we're finding in our supermarkets. Quite literally, the tomatoes have no tomato flavor. They attribute it to the seed companies after World War II that were focused on quantity, productivity, and disease resistance in developing the new hybrids. And that's what commercial agriculture focused on as well. So the farmers just aren't growing tomatoes that taste as good as the varieties that we're choosing. And there are other factors that enter into play here as well. In a paper from the Journal of the Saudi Society of Agricultural Sciences, they report that the transportation from the field to the store affects the flavor of tomatoes. The amount of time in transportation, the vibration, the temperature, the time in storage, all affect the sugars and acids and volatile compounds and the flavor. I've included links in the description below to this research that I'm citing so that you can look into it and find out yourself more about the flavor behind tomatoes and what causes it. And you might be wondering about organic tomatoes. When we go to our produce section, we have the mass-produced tomatoes that we can get year-round, but we also have some of those organic tomatoes that tend to cost more, but also tend to have more flavor. Well, a paper in PLOS One confirms that. The tomatoes from organic farms have more stressing conditions, and that stress leads to higher sugars, higher phenolic compounds, and higher nutritional quality. Here's why. In industrial farming, you have all of the chemical sprays killing the pests. So the plants themselves don't have the pests chewing on them. But that's not the case in organic farming, where the pests are often chewing away at the plants, stressing the plants, and in the process, improving the flavor. I have that in my garden. You probably have that in your garden. The stress that our garden plants go through is helping improve the flavor. And so, as we now talk about our own home gardens, let's talk about other factors of why our tomatoes taste better. A primary reason is due to the varieties that we're choosing. In this bed right here, I have my favorite tomato varieties. I'm growing Sun Gold, I'm growing Sweet Million, I'm growing Black Creme, 
and I'm growing the black cherry, all in the same bed. I like those varieties because I've grown them before and I love their flavor, and I'm growing them again. One primary reason why the tomatoes taste better in our garden, because we're growing the ones that we like. In our home garden, flavor is a big reason why we choose the varieties to grow. But that's not the case in the produce section at the store. Even in organic farming, they're choosing tomatoes for productivity and for the ability to transport from the field to the store. They're not focused purely on the flavor like we may be in our home garden. You might be able to see some of that in your own tomato beds. In this bed, I have a series of paste tomatoes. I have Amish paste, Italian heirloom, and Roma. You can find Roma tomatoes in your supermarket. And Roma tomatoes that you buy in the supermarket don't have a lot of good flavor. The Romas that I grow in my garden, I don't think have that much of a flavor as well. All the others taste much better. But Roma is a great tomato for making sauces, tomato paste. And it travels very well and stores very well in addition to that. So I'm growing good tasting tomatoes, but I'm also growing a tomato that has a practical side to it as well as I move forward making sauces and tomato paste. I haven't found any research that discusses the psychology of the home gardener when growing tomatoes, but anecdotally, I think it's a very important factor. We're growing tomatoes often because we've tasted that garden fresh tomato and want to replicate it. We're growing to get those good flavors. And so when we have black cherries that produce and eat it fresh off the plant, it just tastes great. Now, in my greenhouse, I've struggled to keep these tomatoes growing. It's hot here in Colorado, so hot that the temperatures can soar inside this greenhouse. Well, what I've discovered in my research is that may actually be benefiting my tomato plants. Some research from China, Nanjing University, discussing growing tomatoes in a greenhouse shows that a temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius, is ideal for growing tomatoes. And if you look at the recent video where I'm trying to keep the temperature controlled in my greenhouse, I've been able to maintain that temperature. It was accidental. It wasn't until I was doing this video's research to find out that that is a good temperature, to find out that just growing the plants and trying to avoid excessively hot temperatures is going to give me better tasting tomatoes. And good luck this year also helps explain why all the tomato plants I have growing outside are doing so well. But back to the psychology, I have no doubt that this sun gold tomato right here, the first of the year, no doubt it's going to be amazing. Let's find out. exactly what I expected. As good as the black cherry, at least, better, maybe. That's all a personal preference, but the anticipation of these tomatoes on this plant has been growing for weeks, and it fulfilled all of those expectations. I've known for years that the way I garden promotes healthy plants, and healthy plants tend to have better results when it comes to harvesting the fruit, like tomatoes. There's research to show that the healthy soil is important, particularly when we're talking about mycorrhizal strands that are running through the soil. That's all those little white threads that you might see underneath the mulch or in the soil itself. That's an active fungal network in your soil. And I have it in mine. I have wood, logs and branches and wood chips in the bottom half of all these beds to promote that fungal activity. And sure enough, I have mushrooms regularly popping up. Mushrooms are the fruiting body 
of that fungi. So by focusing on the soil, the research helps to substantiate that my tomatoes are going to be healthy and they're going to taste good. Research shows that transporting and storing tomatoes has a detrimental effect on the flavor. So fresh tomatoes should taste better. And when we choose the varieties that we like, we know that they're going to taste better, better than the unknown variety that we're getting at the supermarket. But what about when we try a new variety? And I do that every year, trying to find the new tomatoes that are gonna be added to my delicious list. How about a tomato like this one? This is Berry's Crazy Cherry. And this is the very first one I've harvested, the very first one I'm going to taste. And let's see how this compares. It's good. I've never had this before. Mildly sweet, not as sweet as the Sun Gold. Good enough to be called a flavorful tomato. And it's very prolific. It's putting out a lot of small tomatoes to harvest. I think I'm going to have to do this one again. I'll always have tomatoes in my garden because I just love the taste of tomatoes. And I love that I can choose to grow the specific varieties that I love the most. The varieties I'm growing are probably different than the varieties you're growing, but you're growing them for the same reason. It's helpful to know that science shows the tomatoes we're growing in our garden do taste better than the ones that we can buy in the supermarket. Most importantly, I think it's our efforts. It's our sweat, our struggles with the weather, with pests, with everything in the garden that really does add to the enjoyment of the tomatoes when we finally do harvest them. And isn't that the goal, to have all these beautiful plants reach harvest and then just enjoy every single bite. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.